We have a deal. Very early this morning, Philadelphia City Council members came to an agreement on a nearly $6.4 billion budget. They say it highlights Mayor Sherelle Parker's key initiatives. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Dan Snyder is live outside of Council Chambers right now to break down where your tax dollars will be going. Good afternoon, Dan. Good afternoon, Jim. Yes, yeah, City Council is in session right now. Just a short time ago, they introduced the first reading of that budget. It's a $6.37 billion deal. It's about $80 million more than Mayor Parker had initially proposed back in March. And it comes after council members got all of their uh, proposals into the budget as well. So, breaking that down a little bit, the budget has a nearly $2.4 billion in new money that's coming over the next five years. That's for Parker's five priorities, public safety, clean and green, economic opportunity, education, and housing. New public safety money will go toward hiring 400 police officers, tackling quality of life crimes, and increasing grants for anti-violence community groups up to $29 million. Uh, there is also a $100 million investment in a treatment and wellness center that's planned for the area around the Riverside Prison Complex up in the Northeast area. Uh, there's money going to expand and city cleaning programs, $24 million in new money for the school district in the fiscal year 2025, and a partnership with the Community College of Philadelphia to create a pipeline for municipal workers in the city. Parker says there was a lot that they couldn't get into this deal, but they're pretty happy. They feel good about what they have here. And I think that there were folks who wanted us to be able to fund about $10, $10 billion worth of, of, you know, work that needs to be done in the city. And the demand is there. The need is there. The people are not wrong in wishing and hoping and expecting that we make many more investments. But I will argue, Mr. President and members of council, we did the best we could with what we have. Now, council members also worked in an increase to the Homestead Act, bringing it from $80,000 to $100,000. That'll help protect against property tax increases. They're also adding in a freeze on property tax increases on low-income homeowners. Now, again, this was the first reading of the budget today. Uh, council members have told us they expect to pass this budget and finalize everything next Thursday. Jim. Thank you very much, Dan. Appreciate it.